people how is everyone doing today how is the way they're treating you okay the thing is we are in Lithuania and at this point it's getting pretty cold everyone here in Lithuania can attest to what I'm saying it's getting so cold and we are just like wondering what this winter holds for us because we know it's going to be extremely cold okay but I don't know for those of you that are already here that have arrived in Lithuania welcome to what we go through every time at this time of the year guys thank you so much if today is the first time you're coming across my video we love you but god love you the most do not forget to click the notification button also don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like what we are doing you want to be seeing us more just please subscribe and also share with your friends guys today i want us to talk about something the thing is when things are happening someone somehow somewhere should be able to address it to make sure that things don't go gather do you understand what i'm saying there is this rumor going about that they are not giving bulgarian visa okay hello praise the lord church hallelujah somebody are you here mm -hmm. but the fact that you are denied bulgarian visa doesn't mean the embassy is not giving visa but the fact that you went and you didn't do your due diligence of what you should do and you were not given the visa doesn't mean the entire people that applied at the same time that you did apply for visa was denied we usually most times generalize stuff when it does not work for us which is not a good thing that we should be doing i don't know whoever that is there pushing the narrative that they are not giving bulgarian visa please if you cannot come out concretely to tell people the kind of questions that you answer during your visa interview, I don't think you should be pushing this narrative because it's a very wrong narrative. There are a lot of God level people out there that are going to actually fall for this thing you're pushing because most of them do not have money to go for, go for Canada, go for US or go for Australia, New Zealand, Sweden, Netherlands most of these very expensive countries and they've already decided to settle for Lithuania but uh, sorry for Bulgaria but if you keep pushing the narrative that they are not giving visa a lot of them are going to be distracted and a lot of them are going to just okay lose hope okay I don't think pushing narrative that any specific country is not giving visa is the right thing for you to do once you are being denied a visa you are going to see the reason for the denial so stop generalizing it it is not for everybody period if Bulgaria did not give you a visa, it means you did not pass the visa interview. Because on the very first day you are submitting your document at the Bulgarian embassy, the first thing that happens, all the, all the questions they are asking you, that is the visa interview. So if you don't do well that day, it simply means you did not pass. You didn't do well. So stop pushing the narrative that they are not giving visa. Hello, after you applied, there are people that still applied and they are all in Bulgaria. They got their visas and they left. For the fact that US did not give you visa doesn't mean they didn't give the next person that applied. It is applicable to all countries. So let's move, my people. And with my tiny tiny phone, this video is not going to be lent lengthy because I want it to be short. These days, the more I just make the video sh very short, it helps me to be able cut, 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 remove what I want to remove, make sure I'm doing the right thing, shoot the videos, edit, and post so guys i really want to talk about something today that i know that is going to be beneficial for so many of you a lot of you don't want to go to school anymore you really want to search for <coughs> what is happening to my voice okay i don't want to start sounding like a frog <coughs> okay so a lot of you don't want to go to school a lot of you want to work but the thing is most times when you look when the job is not forthcoming you have to look at a country that is extremely cheap and go for that country and that is one of the reasons why we have been pushing bulgaria because in nigeria there is an embassy and most of you don't really want to travel out to, to apply for your visa you still want to apply for visa in nigeria and that is why we are pushing for bulgaria do you understand now so first and foremost today, I want to talk about the 15 cheapest universities in Bulgaria. 
the universities that is going to allow you to come to Bulgaria, most of them are accepting full tuition. Most of them are accepting part tuition. And somebody's going to be saying, why is she talking about Bulgaria when they are not part of the Schengen? The truth is uh, a lot of migrants at this point are already having access to the Schengen, okay? So it's not going to remain so. Some of you have already gone to apply for Schengen yourselves. You've been denied. It's okay. It's totally understandable. There's nothing we can do about that because you did your job yourself and now you got denied. So you have to push or try to do something else. So understandably, so in this case, there are people that really want to come to Bulgaria. You can be able to do your admission yourself. You can be able to apply for your visa yourself. It's a bit stressful because you need to know what to do, what not to do, and how to go about it before you can be able to understand what you're doing at that point. So let's answer a few questions because this will actually help us to know what we're doing. 15 cheapest universities in Bulgaria for international students, right? That's what I'm talking about today. In Bulgaria, there are a lot of... Uh, affordable universities that allows you to be able to fulfill your educational dream right that you want to go for and apart from that this uh, institution they allow you most of them to like make like instrumental payment and most of them they allow you to pay for a semester and all of that and apart from that accommodation in Bulgaria is pretty cheap because you can be able to get an accommodation hostess like 100 euros these are the things that we are considering okay because it's better to start small than to get to a country where you're going to get stalked. So guys, think about it. How do I get an admission to any affordable universities in Bulgaria? All right. It is very, very easy, okay, for you to get an admission to any university in Bulgaria. You can be able to just apply online, send your documentation to the school, and they are going to be letting you know what you need what kind of documentations you need the ones that you've not submitted the ones you need to submit they are going to check through it for you and after which you get your admission after you get your admission the school can still guide you of course to you for you to apply for your visa so applying for admission is super easy it's either you do it yourself free of charge or you come to us you pay us our consultation fee which is twenty thousand naira which is non-refundable we do the consultation for you then if you want to work with us you continue working with us of course you pay us for our admin fee but if you are not ready to work with us we can just give you information guys now i want us to actually clarify this when we give you an information that is relatively connected to we not doing the job for you you do not expect us to be totally involved because you only paid for consultation fee we have provided the consultation so we are not the one actually doing the application for you so as we were saying let's go further i'm going to be listening at these universities because it's good for you to know those universities so you can be able to go through them yourself take your time check them out check if it is something you want or it's not something you want now as i think the occurrence is leave bulgarian leave or leave leave i don't know if i'm pronouncing this correctly but of course you can be able to like know how much it is when you try to convert them all right let's start from the first university which is the technical university of gabrovo and the tuition fee is about 1100 to 4900 bulgarian left which we can be able to check of course on the internet to know what it is and uh, that is for the international student and also they have like of course for the domestic student we are not talking about that because they are referring to bulgarians right all right all right for the technical uh university that i was talking about is a prominent university anyways they do they are into research and also they have like engineering they have businesses they have like technology it's depending on the kind of program that you want. We have the Trakai University, which sounds like a bit, I don't know. There's a city here in Lithuania that is called Trakai. So there's a university there. Maybe the name, I'm not sure. Let me not say nothing about it. We have Trakai University. For international student, is about 1,100 to 6,800 Bulgarian left, which if you convert that, you should be able to know how much it is. Here in this school, anyways, most of their courses are in English and most of them are in Bulgaria. So you have to go for the ones that have courses in English, okay? Like the courses that you want in English. The third one is the DA Tosnove Academic of Economics. In this university, they are studying economics and their tuition fee is within that range as well. 
now not just that they have like bachelor's and they have like master's programs as well you can be able to do that if you want to go for entrepreneur you can be able to go that uh, to study there anything that has to do with management tourism and public administration because it's mainly economical oriented in this university you can be able to go there let's go to the number fourth university which is the nicola vastrova nava academy for this one it has to do with those of you that really want to go to into military or maybe you're interested to do that so my feet want just that kind of those kind of trainings right you can be able to go there as well the fifth one is the mt and college this is another university that is very very cheap for international students that want to study in bulgaria you can give this a go the sixth one is sophia university of saint clement um or her this key you can be able to apply that out where this school is at Sofia, which should be the capital of Bulgaria. They have the seventh one, St. Syria and St. Methodist University of Viliko, Tanova. You can be able to apply that as well, which is between 2,000 to 4,000 Bulgaria leave. And uh, which other courses do they have here? This okay, they are also dealing with the field of from um, liberal arts and humanities. Let's move forward to the eighth university. The eighth university is Angel Kachi University of Rush. Here, the teaching fee is between 2450 Bulgarian leave to 6100 Bulgarian leave. So, in this university. They study other courses like economics, they do that as well, and social development. And also, this university, they are also doing research. So, if you want to do any kind of research, this is an opportunity for you to do that. Number nine, we have University of Economics, Vana. University of Economics, Vana is the teacher is within 2650 to about like 5000 thereabout. You can be able to do that like you can be able to study economics in this school in this university because of course that is what they specialize in and apart from that they train entrepreneurs if you want to be an entrepreneur this is a very great opportunity for you they also have like some courses for leadership skills if you want to develop that as well and it's also a research institute so that is a good one they have number 10 the vana free university is available the tuition fee is within 2700 to about like 7000 bulgarian leave and for this university they practice what they call practical education i would say and they encourage uh, continuous improvement and innovations because they are also part of the school that mainly they are part of uh, what is it called but they have it's as well and all these courses if you want that you can go for this school so the 11th one is the technical university of sophia technical university of sophia the teaching fee ranges from 2900 to 5900 bulgarian left then for this school now they have like research activities as well and apart from that they do internships tech 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 they do tech as well so number 12 is the basi helendrinsky university of uh, pulodivy this one is like 2000 to 5000 you see most of them are like this university is located like in the southern part of bulgaria you can be able to check it out to see what it's all about and they have like undergraduate and graduate programs as well they conduct researches for those of you that want to go for social sciences they have social sciences, they have natural sciences, and they also look into innovations as well. Then the 13th one is the Medical University of Sofia. This is cheap compared to the European universities, guys. That is like within 13, within 12 to 13,000 euros thereabout. This is like pretty cheap, trust me. And um, here, of course, is a medical university medicine any medical related course you can be able to do there the 14th university is the university of national and world economy which is between 3200 bulgarian left to 7400 bulgarian leave or left yeah so in this university they practice what we say what we call comprehensive economy and apart from that advantages they have like bachelors they have like masters 
everything that has to do with in the field of business this university got you covered okay you can go for this so the last one which is the southwestern university of neofit this university has been existing since 1976 which is like a very long time and they have also masters and all of that if you want that university you can be able to go for that as well so guys in this case i am going to be dropping the how do i say i am going to be dropping the link for that and for the master's university sorry for the master's courses i've already dropped everything that you need to know i'm going to be dropping the link on the video so you all can be able to go through it this is like very very easy straightforward video i'm not here to bug you i'm not here to say a lot of things i'm not here to like speak lengthy grammars because we are just here to talk about the universities that are very cheap and at the same time to make you guys understand that they are not denying the entire world visas okay for the fact that you got denied the visa is simply because you failed your visa interview there are a lot of factors that leads to visa denial you could fail your visa interview your documentations might not be complete most of you want to travel to bulgaria you don't even know the capital of bulgaria let's start from the beginning you you don't know the capital of bulgaria most of you don't even know the kind of course you want to study you do not even know the name of the professors taking the course you want to study you do not even understand the mechanism of how the country works most of you even lack clue of the kind of currency the country is using you don't even know who is their president or if they have a minister you don't even know the system of government that they run you are not even able to defend yourself during the visa interview you didn't give the consulate a convincing answer to their questions that you are qualified for this visa so at the end of the day they look at you and they find out that you have no clue of where you are going to simply because you do not you didn't do the personal research and when they deny your visa instead of you to go back to check the mistakes that you have made the reason for the denier because it's always in a pdf format for them they underline the reasons for which you were denied most of you i even forgot to mention most of you are providing double 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 document most of you are providing bad statement that is outdated this cut and join is not clear everything is not okay most of you your evil sop sop statement of purpose or motivation why you want to study in the country is not well written copy and paste so stop pushing the narrative that they are not giving visas simply tell yourself the truth and let's be realistic once you're denied the visa get your ass together get your pdf document together check the reason why you were denied the visa make sure you correct the mistakes make sure you update the right document you go back there sit in front of the consulate answer their question tell them what they want to hear and they will issue out the visa stop pushing the narrative that they are not giving people visa they are giving visa now you fail interview go do and wait they then give you visa nothing like they are not giving people the same day they reject you, you know how many people they give so let's stop pushing that narrative it is the wrong information it is not happening anywhere for you to get any country's visa for nigeria it is pretty damn difficult you need to there's no visa even that is easy even in Lithuania, if you go to the embassy they will ask you questions you need to know what you're going to the country to do you need to give them the right answer say the thing they want you to speak not just opening your mouth like wow no not saying gibberish not talking at the end and making no sense go concretely answer the question guys i am going to be having a section on how to answer visa interviews like when they're asking you question how to keep the tonality of your voice your body language what you're saying for the fact that you can speak english doesn't mean you can talk there is how you talk answering the proper question and saying the right thing that the consulate want to hear after then having concrete authentic documentations that is it with after all those ones above all you give it to god you are going to be getting your flying colors like a visa is going to be issued so let's stop pushing wrong narrative out there if you're not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're waiting for hmm? why i'm talking to you 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 with this your eye you, you, you. i mean you 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 why don't you want to subscribe 
subscribe to my channel subscribe subscribe to my channel and also give us a thumbs up if you like what we do here if you want to apply through us admission is open for 2024 we are assisting students now to apply for admission because it's a lot of process i'm going to be coming back again to talk about bulgaria house and the few informations i gathered how we process the entire stuff but for now if you've not started if you want february 2024 start now start now there is no time guys so you can be able to meet up because you need to move your documents there and their legalization is a lot is a lot of process when it comes to bulgaria and those of you that are doing it if you don't know how to do it come pay us let's do for you if you can do by yourself talk and things not go away don't come and share any narrative come here i'll come and sit in my video and spoil your narrative because you're lying you're not saying the truth thank you so much guys is your girl great faith I love the fact that you guys are here supporting your girl on a daily basis and you're clicking on my thumbnails. If you haven't shared my video yet, I pray and I indulge you to share it because it's going to be helping someone out there that is listening to wrong narrative. Everything is possible because that anything, everything with God is possible because that is what God says. He is the beginning and the end. So anything happening at the middle, he is still with us now at the moment. Hi guys, thank you so much. I love you all, but God love you the most. Peace out.